Hey, what's going on? Justin here. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to talk about some frogging today. I got two different types of hollow body baits that I'm using. I'm using a popping style frog and I'm using a walking style duck. And we're going into the shade and the nasty little areas that the bass live in the summertime in shallow lakes. Normally I'm down in Texas. I'm throwing these in some sloppy, sloppy stuff around maybe some hydrilla. Today I'm up north. I'm in parrot country. And we're going around some shallow docks and a shallow lake and these fish are up shallow and they gotta hide from the sun. So what do they do? They're going into the nastiest areas and you gotta get something in there that's gonna be able to be weedless and top water is, is key. There's a lot of bluegill up shallow. So we're, t we're taking two different approaches. We're going uh, with a popping approach, being more aggressive, and then we're taking the duck and we're, we're going real subtle in some areas. So let's get to it. So out in these open grassier areas, I can throw the popping style frogs. There's, there's a lot of thick grass and those bass are buried in that. So I want something that's a little bit louder and more aggressive so they'll hear it more and come up. But when we get up into the, the real shallow areas and the, and the shade up under the docks, I want that real subtle approach. The bass can see from a ways away. This is probably gonna be a little bit too aggressive and having that little subtle side to side action is a little better. I've been popping this popping frog through the thick grass, kind of out in front of some dock areas. Now I'm going to get into some shade and uh, some overhanging limb areas, and it's just shallow. There's no wind back here, so I'm going to pick up Danny the Duck. Now Danny's made by a company called Weston. So there's these duck. The ducks have kind of been the craze the last couple years. They've They've been hot, everyone's been talking about them. It's fun to fish, I mean, you're catching fish on a duck. Bass actually eat ducks, pike eat, eat ducks and everything. But it's essentially the same look as a, a regular hollow body frog. You just got a little bit different presentation here with these uh, duck feet instead of the long flappy legs of a frog. Now instead of popping this one, this is more of a, just a subtle side to side action. So it's a lot less aggressive. I can throw this a really long ways too. It's got a lot of weight in the in the butt section, so I can skip it. If you're having trouble getting your your hollow body bait to walk, it's it's really just a subtle movement of the rod tip. It's not a, a big move like a popper. It's just really really short pops of the wrist side to side. It takes a little practice, but once you get in a rhythm, you're going to be walking that bait rather than bobbing it forward. I'd, get way more bites doing that than I do uh, just plugging away where it's like a big bob action. The walking action is definitely the juice. Oh, got him. Oh, sucked it in. Sucked Danny in. Danny went down. When you're ducking and frogging, you want to have a good setup, especially if you want to get up under the trees. You want something that's not super, super stiff. That's going to bend a little bit. This is a heavy action rod that I'm throwing right here, but it's still got enough tip action where I can kind of roll it and get it up under there. I'm using 65 pound braid. There's logs, lay down sticks. Now, it's not necessarily about how huge the fish is. It's about getting the fish out of cover. So a three pounder will pin you against a log or under you know, a limb or some thick grass and you won't be able to get them out. So using a heavy action rod, that you could still uh, flip and pitch and then using 65 pound braid, I like to use 50 pound braid a lot of times too. Uh, it's just a little bit easier to cast if you're new to frogging and, and ducking. I would definitely give that a shot. High speed gear ratio reel, absolute must. Because when if you miss a fish, it blows up, you want to be able to get back in as fast as you can, get another cast in, and drive them away from the cover as fast as you can. Yeah. So it's midday right now. I already missed one of my fish. It was a nice blow up. That's going to happen when you're fishing frogs and ducks and hollow body frogs, the ratio is usually like one to five on an average day. If you're catching them good, it's like three out of five, I would say. So don't go, don't get hard on yourself if you're not catching them on hollow bodies. It's just part of it. It takes a little practice knowing when to set the hook. I like to wait until I feel a little pressure before I set the hook, but 
I just got a little excited when that fish hit Danny and I set the hook a little too early. Go back in there, go back. Oh! oh. oh. Thanks for being here for today's frog and tip. If you want more action, go ahead and subscribe right here to the MTV channel. And if you want to get awesome boxes sent to your house every month, go ahead and visit the link down in the description. We'll catch you right back here at the MTV channel next time. Thank you.